Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity, and I wanted to sample Rurutai, which is a game, it's not really a game, it's more of a demo or an instrument creator, sort of like The Sims, and it is something that could actually change gaming and music and a lot of other audio-based computer stuff as we know it. So what is it? Well, this is kind of a little, again, it's kind of sim-like. I'll go to the music box just so you can see a quick demo of pre-crafted instruments. This is an instrument creator. And it looks, I know, a little bit janky because it's very much still in an alpha. But what it in the little music sounds that you can play here. Now, what makes these musical little sounds so unique that you should instantly download this and look at the source code and think this is so amazing, etc., 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 etc.? Well, if you understand music and sound and computer sound and how it works, generally the way sound is created is something, someone makes a noise and it bumps into molecules in the air and they get shifted around and they bump into other molecules and eventually your ears have kind of a drum kind of a flat surface that vibrates in response to that and thus we hear and we can hear really unique and interesting sounds like violins or trumpets etc etc when it comes to computers and computer games and pianos and things like that quite often what is the case is you'll have a pre-recorded sound in a box and oftentimes what you'll have, particularly in computer games and things like that, is people will manipulate the audio itself, they'll slow it down or speed it up, do certain interesting techniques like that to, to manipulate the sound to make it sound different. So for example, if you're talking about footsteps in Counter-Strike, it's a pre-recorded sound, usually by a Foley artist or someone, where they've made some footstep style, uh, style sounds, and that's a stored wave or MP3 or some sort of audio file in the game directory. And then if they want to make it sound a little bit different, they'll, you know, make it a little bit more damp. They'll do some EQ stuff to it. Uh, they'll do some weird things to the audio itself to kind of change the way it actually sounds. This here has no pre-recorded sound asset assets whatsoever. As in, when I pluck this, this is sound being generated in real time. There's no background file there's no wave, there's no mp3, this is being created as I pluck it. And depending how I pluck it, how hard I pluck it, what I do to the actual things here, like for example, I will cut a little some of these spaces off here, it changes the way the audio actually sounds. So this is an actual, go back to strike here, this is an actual demonstration of audio being generated in real time. And obviously this is kind of right here, an early alpha sort of version of it. But eventually, the extension of this technology, in theory, we could generate things in real time. As in, we could have a floor, we could have a foot representation, and then foot meets floor, and you end up with an interesting sound effect. Here, this sounds kind of like, I don't know, an oil drum, or it's almost something metallic getting hit. Now, keep in mind, this metallic hit, I almost feel like I've heard that in nature before. Not in nature, meaning somewhere out there in the world. But again, this is completely generated within this computer program. Now, I have a link down below. I highly, I highly recommend everybody mess around with this and have some fun with it. And if you're a programmer, I highly encourage you to get involved with the programming of this because I know the guy who programmed this personally, awesome, brilliant, super intelligent guy. He actually has a, he's got some internships at some cool places. And I'm hoping he goes far with this, and I hope, and right now what I'm hoping is, is this can develop rapidly into something that could be really awesome for both music and, again, for gaming. Here, this is almost, honestly, this is practically a, a harp, although it sounds a, that one's got a little bit of a bug to it. But, uh, this, I almost feel like this sounds like a spoon with glass or something along those lines. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, the link is in the comments. Check it out, play with it, and if you're a programmer, get involved with the code. Thanks for listening.